Hey first graders, welcome back. It's Mrs. Daniel from Citizenship Academy and today we're going to work on Module 2, Lesson 16. Let's look at our objective. There's all the videos I've been working on. <laughs> okay, our objective today is to relate counting on to making 10 and taking from 10. So there's two different strategies that we've been working on, and today we're going to talk about both of those strategies. But first, we're going to play a game, a fluency game, where we're going to look at a card, and then we're going to say the number that is five less. So you're going to take five away from the number. So if I gave you the number 10, five less would be five, okay? Here we go. And just shout it out. Five less. Four, very good. Five less, three, nice job. Five less, two, five less, one, five less, zero. All right, this time we're going to count by twos, but we're not starting at two. We're going to count by twos starting from one. So we're going to start at one, and then two more from one is going to give us three. So we're going to start at one, and then three. We're going to count up by twos using our odd numbers. This is a little bit different. Here we go. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. Now we're going to go backwards. Nineteen, seventeen. 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, 1. Nice job. Give me a high five. Nice job, friends. Now we're going to get into our lesson for today. All right. So the first strategy we're going to try is counting on. So sometimes when I do counting on, I'll say the number in my head and then I'll count on. But I just learned a new strategy where you punch the air with the number, instead of putting it in your head, you can say nine, and then start counting, 10, 11. Oh, that's it, right? So try it with me, punch it in there, ready? Nine, 10, 11, ooh, and then you look and see how many fingers are up, one, two, and that's your answer. All right, so that's the counting on strategy. The take from 10 strategy, I'm actually going to show you on the whiteboard today. So the take from 10 strategy is where you decompose your number, and we have a 10 and then a 1. And now we're going to just use our 10, and we're going to take 9 from 10. 10 minus 9 equals how much? 1, right? If you take 9 from 10, you're left with 1. And then you look and see how much do you have left? 1. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. So we still got the same answer. It's just two different strategies. You may already have a favorite strategy, and but we're going to explore both of them today. Let's look at our next problem. Okay, so now they're just showing you here. So if you separate 10 and 1, and then we have 1 plus 1 equals 2. All right, here's our next problem, 13 minus 9. So we're going to do our counting on first. So we're going to punch out 9, and then we're going to count on. Ready? Get your hand ready. 1, 2, 3, let's count. Let's say 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now count. How many fingers do you have up? 1, 2, 3, 4. Are you guys able to see me very well? Let's see. Let's do it again. Ready? Get your hand ready to punch out 9. Ready? Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. If you need to use your other hand to hold down your pinky, that's fine. I need to hold down my pinky. 
And now we count how many fingers are still up. One, two, three, four. I have four fingers still up. So 13 minus 9 equals 4. Okay? Now, why don't I just show you on the whiteboard how we do it on here? 13 minus 4. Oh, 13 minus 9. Silly, Mrs. Daniel. 13 minus 9. <clears throat> so, we're going to decompose and we're going to make one of these groups a 10. And then we have three left. And then we're going to use, this is what we're, we're going to subtract. So 10, and we're going to take 9 away. And how many will be left with? 1. And then how many do we still have over here? 3. 3 plus 1 equals... Four, nice job, nice job, four. So 13 minus nine equals four. And we got the same answer using both of our strategies. Our PowerPoint will show us the same way. 10 and three, one plus three equals four. Here's our next one, 17 minus 9. Get your fists ready to punch out 9 and count up 17. Ready? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now we have to count how many fingers do we have up? Well, I have 5 on one hand, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8. Okay, now. Let's see if when we do use the, the other strategy, if we have the same answer. So we said 17 minus 9. <clears throat> so again, we're going to decompose. That just means to break apart our number 17 with a 10 and a 7. And we're going to subtract. 9 from 10. And how much is left? Oh, my goodness. If we take 9 from 10, how much is left? Just 1. And then how much do we still have here? 7. So we have to add that 7. And what's our answer? 7 plus 1 equals 8. We got the same answer. Both strategies will get us to the same answer. It's just a matter of what strategy makes most sense to you. Okay. Let's return to our PowerPoint. There we go. Our next one is 15 minus 9. Punch it out and count on. Get your fist ready. We're going to count on. Starting at 9, we're going to count up to 15. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many fingers do we have up? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 fingers. So 15 minus 9 equals 6. Nice job. Now let's look at our whiteboard. <clears throat> 15 minus 9. We're going to decompose our 15 into a 10 and a what? What number am I going to write right here? A 5. That's right. Good job. And then what should I do? I'm going to subtract 9 from 10. Yes. So I'm going to take 9 from 10, and I'm going to be left with 1. Very nice. And I need to add it to what number? To the 5. 5 plus 1 equals 6. Did we get the same answer? Yes, we did. You can do either strategy. Okay. Back to our PowerPoint. Doing a lot of flipping around today, aren't we? Okay. 
you get to see the visual twice. So we decompose our 15, 1 plus 5 equals 6, and there we go. Next problem, 12 minus 9. 12 minus 9. Okay, so get your hand ready. We're going to say 9, 10, 11, 12. How many fingers are up? Three. Very good. And if we're going to do it on our whiteboard, we have 12 minus 9. Why don't you guys do this one on your own? And let's see if you get the same answer as I do. So this is what it'll look like. And remember, what's step number one? You're going to decompose your number. I'm going to give you a second to go ahead and do that on your paper. Remember that we're making a 10 so that we can easily subtract the 9 from a 10. If you need more time, please pause this video. We're going to do a 10 and a 2. Is that what you did? I hope so. If not, that's okay. We'll keep working on it. And then we're going to subtract 9 from 10. And we get 1. And how many do we have left? 2. So 2 plus 1 equals 3. It's the same answer that we got. Is this what your paper looks like? Let's We might have one more. Let's see. All right, my friends, this is going to be our last one for today. 14 minus 9. 14 minus 9. So we're going to say 14 in our head, or we're going to punch out, oh, I mean, silly. We're going to say 9 in our head, or we can punch out 9. I kind of like this way. It's kind of fun. All right, get ready. 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14. How many do we have left? 5. 14 minus 9 equals 5. Very good. And go ahead and write it on your paper. 14 minus 9. 14 minus 9. Go ahead and do it on your paper. Decompose the number. 14 minus 9. 14 minus 9. We're going to do a 10 and a 4. We're going to subtract. 10 minus 9 equals 1. And then we're going to add the number that we still have left, which is a 4. That sun is super shiny today, huh? 4 plus 1 equals 5. Nice job, friends. You guys worked so hard today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.